This is the solution to quiz two. <coughs> okay, so expand and collect like terms. Okay, so then recall that the rule is that a plus b squared is a squared plus b squared. Most people can remember that. But then, because of the cross terms, you'll get an a times a b and a, a b times an a. So then you'll get plus 2ab. So this 2ab is what students most frequently uh, forget. So in this case, that means that the answer will be x squared plus 4, so the sum of those squares, and then plus 2 times uh, x times 2. So that would be x squared plus 4 plus 4x, four and then writing this in descending order of degree, x squared plus 4x plus 4. <clears throat> okay, this one just FOIL. So that would be 2x times 3x, that's 6x, plus uh, the outside terms, uh, so that'd be minus, uh, minus 2x, plus the inside terms, so 15x, and then minus 5. So then that would be uh, 6x, oops, that should be squared, so I almost admitted that first round. So 6x squared, and then minus 2x uh, plus 15x, that's 13x, and then minus 5. That's the answer. <coughs> okay, so... Part two, we're given a quadratic, it's not monic. To carry this out, what we want to do is we want to factor, we want to find factors of uh, 10 times 6, that, that is to say 60, whose sum is the middle number, negative 19. Okay, so how about, uh, how about, so because this is positive and that's negative, that means they're both going to need to be negative. So how about negative 1 and negative 60? Well, that's negative 61. Okay, that won't work. How about negative 2 and negative 30? That's negative 32. Okay, that's not going to work. How about negative 3? and um, negative 20. That's negative 23. That's not going to work either, but we're getting closer. How about negative 4 and negative 15? That's negative 19. Terrific. So we found the one we were looking for. So now that we've done that, we'll take this 10x squared. And the whole purpose of this table was to split this negative 19 into two pieces. So we'll say that's negative, that's minus 4x and then minus 15x plus 6. So we factored out, so this minus 4x minus 15x is that negative 19. So now we'll form groups. So 10x squared minus 4x in a group and then <coughs> uh, plus negative 15x plus 6 in a group. And out of each group we'll factor the greatest common factor so a 2 can come out because those are both even, and an x can come out, so 2x can come out. And if you do that, this would be 5x, and then uh, minus 2, plus 6, and then 
plus. So now, uh, the greatest common factor here will be negative 3. So we'll take that negative out. So plus negative 3. And then when you factor out negative 3, this is a 5x minus 2 also. So notice that this is the same as this. We are so happy about that because that indicates that probably on the right step. So that means that <clears throat> that means that we should be able to factor out 5x minus 2. And then all the other stuff should fall in line into place. So this go here, and this one here. And it yields 2x minus 3 multiplied by 5x minus 2. So I'll foil that real quick in my head. So 10x squared, good. And then minus 4x, minus 15x, so that's minus 19x, and then plus 6. Looks good. Okay, and then for question 3, we're given a rational expression. We're supposed to represent it as a single uh, rational expression. So a rational difference. Make it a single rational expression. Okay. So, x over x minus 1, uh, and then minus uh, 1 over x plus 1. So I gave myself some room to write things. So we want to find a common denominator. So this denominator has an x minus 1, and it's missing an x plus 1. So let's give it an x plus 1. But we can't just write an x plus 1 there, because that would be changing the problem. That'd be dividing by x plus 1. So I'll put another x plus 1 up here. So those red x plus 1s will cancel, and it doesn't change the problem. This denominator is missing an x minus 1. So I'll put it here, but we can't just leave it there. We also need to put it up here so that the green ones would cancel and we wouldn't have changed the problem. So now I'll simplify the numerators. That would be x squared plus x over x minus 1 times x plus 1, and then minus uh, just x minus 1 over x plus 1 times x minus 1. So now the denominators are the same, which means we can perform the subtraction. So x squared plus x, and then minus x minus 1 over x minus 1 times x plus 1. So now what's currently written is not correct, but it, but it does represent a common error that students make. So when you perform such a subtraction like that where the numerator consists of multiple terms, it's a good idea to parenthesize both numerators. So these red parentheses, they don't change and don't fix uh, this line. You can add or remove those parentheses, it makes no difference. But these parentheses make a big difference. So that would be uh, carrying that out. Uh, x squared in the numerator. And then we have x minus x, so those cancel. And then uh, we have minus negative 1, so that would be plus 1. 
and this would be x minus 1 over x plus 1. And then x squared plus 1, <coughs> this does not factor further. But, because I'm a mathematician, I have to qualify everything I say. So it does not factor further in the reals. And we learned this week, though that's not what this quiz about, what this quiz is about, that x, x squared plus 1 does factor further uh, in the complex numbers. 